My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here with another review for Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. And this is episode two, and it's titled Trust Me, which that's what this episode is mainly about, trust. In this episode, Alice, she uh, comes up with a plan to find Cyrus by using his genie bottle as bait in order to find out who is her true enemy, which she finds out that it's Jafar, which uh, Cyrus told her about previously in flashbacks, and find out who her true friends are, which we should know it's the White Rabbit, which uh, it's not like he's willingly doing this. He's doing this because he's threatened with his lives. So I really wouldn't say he's not a friend. It's just his life is on the line. But uh, also in, uh, in the flashbacks, we find out how Cyrus came to be in Wonderland and also when Cyrus and Alice first fell in love. Uh, I have to say, overall, I, I really did like this uh, episode. And also, we kind of find out that um, the Knave of Hearts had uh, a previous love interest. This girl called Anastasia, which I'm wondering, is this the same Anastasia I'm thinking of? And you're probably thinking of too? I'm pretty sure it is, because it's kind of a fairy tale. I think it would be. But uh, I'd really like to see this uh, Anastasia kind of introduced into this show. Just to kind of see hear about more about this Knave of Hearts, which I'm not familiar with him at, all, him at all. I mean, if he appeared in the book, then I never read the book. I watched the old cartoon. The old cartoon. The one from, I think it was the 60s. And um, then there was that movie from, I think, 2010. Alice in Wonderland. Which, um, that girl, sorry. Sorry if you liked her as Alice. But that girl was fugly. And I know I ain't the nicest looking guy ever, but she was fugly. So I like this actress that's playing her in Alice in the Show a lot better than that girl. But um, now I thought it was interesting to see more of uh, Jafar in this episode because it seems like he is the big enemy for at least this first season. I mean, Jafar is like the biggest baddie I've ever known from my childhood. And he's played by a really great actor uh, who is Naveen Andrews, which uh, if you're not familiar with the name, he played on the previous hit series, Lost, which uh, he did a really great job playing in that show. And I just look forward to seeing more of him as Jafar because him and Jafar together, they make a perfect match. It's a match made in evilness. Evil. But, uh, you know, I, uh, last week, this, the ratings were disappointingly low, which, uh, I can't really blame the show because uh, it was on Thursday. It's on Thursdays. And uh, plus, uh, there's other great shows that come on Thursdays, like Vampire Divers, which I've never watched and probably don't plan to because most of you know my feelings about Twilight because that's what, that's what True Blood looks like. I mean, Vampire Diaries looks like when I had first heard that. I'm like, oh, it's Twilight. Nope, nope. Don't want to watch it. Don't want my eyes to burn. But uh, I am looking forward to the show. And I really do hope they pick it up for a full-on season. 
I really do. Because so far, that's only 13 episodes. Just have to cross our fingers, those of us who really are liking this sh show. But uh, that's pretty much it for my review. Uh, let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on the episode. And uh, is it the same as mine? Or was it something different? Just let me know, no matter if it's Facebook or on YouTube. And as always, for more news and reviews on movies, video games, comic books, and more, you go to BKBN.net and celebrate your nerd in a big way. I'm Jimmy. Until next time, bye.